So here's another quick video about a failed video card. This one happens to be inside an Apple iMac. So here I'm showing exactly what happens once you turn the computer on. You get what we call the white screen of death, I guess. Uh, this is pretty much shown here with those vertical lines. So taking off the front glass with some suction cup, you pull, exposing the actual LCD and the inside of the computer. You need to remove those four screws on the right and four screws on the left. They are Torx T10, I believe, or T9. And before you pull the, H the LCD out, just be careful, they are set there's a set of four cables that you need to unplug carefully from the motherboard inside. I'm trying to show quickly where they are. You have one, two, three, four. So basically, you're also going to need to remove the uh, memory. Uh, here, I removed the LCD and I'm just going to show you where exactly these cables are one over here the large one which is uh, i think the uh, display cable is right over here that's two and the other two were before so i'm testing it again with an external monitor connected with vga adapter and it's still doing the same thing so I'm going to remove the video card assembly which is right there but before doing that I have to remove the RAM. At the bottom of the unit you have three screws. Remove those three screws that's the cover for the RAM and it's very dusty so I'm going to clean that up eventually at the end. You pull those tabs and carefully once you pull them, you will see the RAM pop out. Here I position it on my legs to have a better grip. And this computer has four stick of RAM. Anyway, here's the uh, fan assembly that you need to remove. Loosen up the screws for the top part, which is the DVD assembly. And you'll be able to remove that fan but don't forget to unplug it from the logic board then it's just a matter of a couple screws a few screws to remove the actual video card this is the video card assembly with the heat sink remove the heat sink and you will be exposing the video card now it's very typical this probably has never been changed for so many years so the thermal paste that is used to cool the processor which is the gpu and its components is all dried up you can actually scrape it off with my little screwdriver here in chunks so i'm going to spend the next few minutes with some rubbing alcohol and some cotton swab to clean up and remove all of this That's the G GPU. Remove the thermal paste. It's not hard. But I found that after you start rubbing it, of course, it turns into a paste again. So it makes it difficult to remove it all in one piece using the cotton swab. So I swap, I switch to this little tool, which you push and it removes most of it in big sections, which makes it easier. And you wipe it and then you continue like that. And at the end, you just wipe it again with cotton and uh, alcohol. I found that that makes it a lot easier. I had this bridge here between those two chip on the on the top which are the light gray ones not the black ones but the light gray ones i had a lot of gunked up pieces in there now after i clean it all this is what it looks like 
Now the trick to this fix is that the solder joint on this video card I have heated up so badly that they are disconnected and you don't get a picture. So you have to take this video card and one of the trick is to put it in the oven that are about 200 degrees for about 10 minutes. So I remove anything that's plastic, preheat my oven to 200. This is just a small toaster oven. And I set my timer for 10 minutes. And 10 minutes later, it's done. You let it cool. And then I use this thermal compound, Arctic Silver, and I basically put it back fresh thermal paste all over the components again. Reassemble it. This is the reverse step. Put back the fan, put back the video card, put back the memory, and then I test it. And guess what? It came up. So this trick works. Now it's just a temporary fix because it will happen again. As time goes, it will overheat again and it will happen again. This is a common mistake. I mean, a common problem with most GPU of this uh, generation. I clean it up and here we go, it's all up and running again. Thanks for watching.